What else has been reimagined for VR in this game? This game is a fucking mess. If you don't have epilepsy yet, get ready to have it. Over 2017, some beautiful VR games came out. We had Sorrento, we had Gorn, for transfers we had Payday 2. It was a good year, but was anyone playing those games? How fucking no they weren't. A chance to experience the latest in virtual reality, so we have Fallout 4 for you to play as well. Bethesda, muck. I would kiss you if I could, and I can, so I will. Oh, I love you, Todd. You actually made a full transfer port of the entire of Fallout 4. Nothing cut it out. It does, of course, mean that you have to do the intro again. Thanks, Come on. 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 Codsworth, what's my name? Mr. Titties. Come on. Come on. Holy shit. Wow, it's come on! Yay! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! 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 Game is starting! The game is. Come on! Yes, they still haven't added a skip intro button to this game. Why that is, is because, uh, <laughs> unlike some other games, you know who I'm talking about. This game is a full transfer of every quest in the game, but, and this is a plastic surgery sized butt here, this game does not have two-handed weapons, working buttons, working doors, manual loading, or really any use for your hands at all. See, this is a direct port of Fallout 4, so in this situation, they just changed the E key to the... What is this called? What is- what is this? I don't- Now, while actually opening a door by turning my hand and loading my dildo by putting the batteries in, it, it can be pretty cool, but you can't deny the sheer functionality of Fallout 4 VR's controls. Sure, actually fiddling around with your AA batteries to fit them in is, is a lot of fun, but it's still fairly immersive to just push a button and the batteries fly into your 38-inch rib donger. So, strangely enough, I actually commend Fallout 4's for its controls. But still, why am I holding a minigun with one hand? But other than that, the controls are great. Ah, fuck! Oh, unless you set yourself on fire. Kobe! Bitch and mother. Damn it! But th this happens a lot. But all is not perfect in the wasteland, my friends. From a blurry resolution to buggy walls, Fallout 4 VR is not a perfect game. The date is December 12th. The game is released. Everything boots, loads. And what the fuck? The graphics are. They're so so. Fallout 4 VR looked fucking terrible when it was released. Everybody, rush to the forums. If we bitch and moan just enough, Bethesda have to do something. Meanwhile, actually smart people try and figure out a fix, while us idiots try and make a good situation out of it. Maybe we can pretend our character suffers from cataracts. Maybe as a result of years of isolation, malnutrition, radiation, etc. Turn a negative into a positive for immersion. Oh. Bethesda release a beta build within the first day of the problem being found, which kind of shows off how extremely simple this fix actually was. Now, if this is a huge problem that affected every single player playing the game, and that problem could have been fixed in just one day's worth of work, can you imagine how buggy the less important parts and the harder to fix parts of the game are? Wait, honey. Honey, don't go through, honey. Don't go through if I... It's full of milk! Honey, run! It's a trap! Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Give him two lips like roses and clover. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. And that's not even the fucking worst of it, okay? Like, we all know Fallout 4 is buggy, but you put VR on top of it, and it gets worse. See, I like to play the game sat down, 
and for some reason, there's no option to change your height in the game, so I spent most of my time in the wasteland running around as a fucking dwarf. Tell me more about this house. And there's a simple fix to this. All I have to do is uh, download this thing called OpenVR Advanced Settings, go into it and change my height there. How, how am I supposed to know to do this? See, Bethesda has this habit of expecting its player base to be full of developers. And here's the thing. It is full of developers. Fallout 4 and every other Bethesda game has a huge modding community full of people willing to fix every bug, every issue, every silly little piece of shit that Bethesda left in its game. And they just come across like a fucking unpaid sweet streeper and just, oh well, I'll just get that for you honey, don't worry about this big old bug, you don't even need to fix it. But what if you don't know how to install mods? Ha what are you supposed to do? Well. I will explain to you what you're supposed to do in my demonstration that I've made. Now we made this nice and simple for you, just, you know, so it would all go by perfectly. All you gotta do is download this thing, go to this directory, change this line of text in the config file, go on the website, make an account, find this, 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 and this, copy this one to here, and add asterisks, but no one understands why we have to do this, it just download the beta pack off this one, and boom! Just like that, you both learn how to do advanced trigonometry, and you manage to install some Fallout mods. Now, I'd say let's get to playing the game, but... That took all night, so I'm going to take a quick nap, and then we'll return, and we can actually play the game now. After seeing all this, you're probably like, this game's terrible, right, Kieran? What you're telling us is it's terrible! Well, much like the Doom port that they did, everything's good except the port. But... With all its problems and inconveniences, I just like Doom, it's such a good original game, I can't hate it. Even with every problem that I have with Fallout 4 VR, I, I can't stop playing it. it. Every fucking night, I launch up the game and I just spend hours walking around the wasteland, searching old run-down houses, using skeletons to tell stories of a classic world infested by new technology, a utopia upon the brink of annihilation! That was probably pretty dramatic to you, but if you've played the game, you're like, oh yeah, I get what he's saying. So, if you have never played the game, um, and you have the ability to play this game in VR, it is a 100% must buy. The game has its issues and isn't the best to get started with, but once you're finally there, playing that music from your Pip-Boy popping Raiders heads off, it'll be, it will be worth it, trust me. But, once again, another but, I, I love buts if you can't tell. If you have played the original Fallout 4, I maybe wouldn't recommend the game. But that is only because of how unreasonable the price tag is on this game. I just hold off to a sale, but if you are an insanely huge fan of Fallout, you're gonna have to pick it up. Okay, quick notes before we end. Uh, the game does have actual locomotion. Fucking hell. Hallelujah. New rule for the show. If your game doesn't have actual locomotion, you can only get up to a 5 out of 10. Even though I don't give score ratings. Still, fuck you. Uh, you can also get into a lot of areas that you shouldn't be able to just by using the teleporting, which is of course a huge issue. The Pip-Boy can actually be worn on your left arm, which is super cool, but it doesn't pause the game for some reason when you look down at it, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the Pip-Boy, so... I don't know why that's even a feature. Now this one's really annoying. You can't two-hand any weapon, which is one of the worst things about the game. It feels really unimmersive to fire a minigun like it's a fucking super soaker. For some reason, most of the scopes in the game, you can't see through. Which is a huge oversight by Bethesda, like, who wants to fucking snipe someone it, using this? Wait, you can! It doesn't work! So yeah, you have to download the mod that makes the scopes work, but why did this have to be a mod, Bethesda? So, I give Fallout 4 VR 42 credit caramels out of 36, an unbeatable score. I have but one desire. And that word is you, no other will do.
I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love.